Hey guys, thanks for letting me be a part of your class today. So you just previously watched a video um, about the Titanic and are reading a nonfiction article about the sinking of the Titanic and finding the Titanic. And I just wanted to point out that the author of that nonfiction article, Lauren Tarsus, is the author of the I Survived series. So that should be a really fun article for you guys to be able to read because she's an awesome author. So I wanted to show you a few books that we have available in the library about the Titanic. And I was especially excited when Ms. Wymouth asked me to share with you guys because I am kind of a history buff and I kind of like reading about the Titanic. I think it's been a, a point of interest for many people um, over the years. And even though it happened more than 100 years ago, I think we're still fascinated um, by the idea that this unsinkable ship could sink and that unfortunately so many people ended up um, losing their lives in this tragedy. So if you would like to read more about this, I have a variety of books that are available right now in the library to check out. So first off, I wanna show you this book called Finding the Titanic. And this is a great tie in with the video and the article because this is all about the science behind finding the Titanic. And the author of this book um, interviewed some of the scientists who um, worked with the Navy actually to locate the wreckage. And they talked about the technology that they used in order to find um, the wreckage on the bottom of the ocean floor. And as you go through the book, they do give you some background and some history on the Titanic and why it sank. But particularly interesting is um, the recovery efforts that they made in order to find, to find the Titanic and some of the resources that they're using to preserve um, some of the artifacts. And so if you're someone who kind of likes to read about the science behind things, this is a really fascinating book for you to read. So it's called Finding the Titanic, and it's all about the, um, the adventure of trying to locate this lost ship on the bottom of the ocean floor and the science behind trying to, pervert, to preserve as much of it as possible. Okay, so this is available in our library right now. A couple other books I'd like to share with you. One, you guys are probably familiar with this series, um, the What Was or Who Was series, What Was the Titanic. Uh, this is a book that I particularly enjoy a lot because I normally read more fiction than nonfiction. And this is written as a narrative non, uh, yeah, narrative nonfiction. So it's written in chapters and paragraphs, more like a story. And a lot of you guys, like I said, are probably familiar with the who was or what was books. Um, so this gives a really good overview of the building of the Titanic, um, some of the passengers that were on there, some of the lifestyle and luxury that they enjoyed while they were traveling. And then, of course, what happened when they struck the iceberg and um, who survived, who didn't survive, that kind of thing. So this gives you a really big picture of exactly what happened on the Titanic. And it doesn't just focus on one part of it. Um, so if you are somebody who typically likes fiction and likes more of a story format, this might be a good book for you guys to check out. Okay. This might be my favorite out of all the books that I'm going to show you guys today. It's called The Titanic, an Interactive Survival Adventure. So this book is in our nonfiction section because it gives you information about the Titanic um, and what happened, but it's an interactive story. So it's a like choose your own adventure type of book. If you are someone who sometimes struggles to stay focused on a book because you just get a little bit bored with reading it, um, this might be a great book for you to check out because you get to be part of the story. You get to make decisions on what happens in this book. So how this goes, if you haven't read one of these before, is everybody starts with the first few pages and it gives some information and some background on the Titanic. And then you get to page 10 here, sorry, page 11, and it gives you some options. So over here, on the left side, you can see there's some options. You get to choose whether you want to be a crew member, whether you want to be a governess for a very wealthy family, or if you are a 12-year-old boy who's traveling to New York with your dad. And then based on what person you choose, you're going to turn to that page in the book. So I'm going to page 45. And it gives you some more information about your character. And then I get to pick a location that I would like to visit. So I am going to be the governess and I'm going to go to page 48 and um, go into my cabin. And then I get to make a few more um, choices as I continue to read. So this is really cool because it gives you different perspectives, different points of view of different characters and whether or not you might actually survive the sinking of the Titanic. So if you are a crew member and depending on maybe where you're at on the boat when it starts to sink, those tell you if you are able to survive the sinking or not. Um, if you're upper class passenger, if you're a female passenger, if you're a child, you get different points of view and your outcome may be a little bit different. 
So there's three story paths, as I mentioned, and then there's 20 different possible endings. So you can kind of read through the book several different ways and find out who survives and who doesn't. Um, so I think this is a really cool book and it's still nonfiction because everything in here is accurate um, in terms of what actually happened on the sinking of the ship. Now, if this is something you check out and you enjoy, I actually have more books in this series of different kind of disasters or events that you could experience. So it's called The Titanic, an Interactive Survival Adventure. Okay. Um, another book I'd like to share with you guys today is, is also nonfiction. It's called Disasters in History. Um, this gives actually a lot of different information on different disasters that have happened in history. So the Titanic is just one part of that. Um, there, there's a chapter that explains exactly what goes wrong with the sinking of the Titanic and why it actually sank and kind of unfortunately why so many people ended up dying in this disaster. Um, but there's different chapters on other events in history, including the Hindenburg, which is a blimp that um, was destroyed. And then also Chernobyl, which is a nuclear reactor in Russia that ended up um, having a severe accident. And a lot of people, unfortunately, died in that as well. So if you would like to read some short chapters on different events in history, this is called Disasters in History. And it's available in our library right now. Okay. I do have a couple other nonfiction books that are um, kind of what we think of as more typical nonfiction that has a lot of different pictures um, and information about the Titanic. Those are checked out right now, but you can always go in and put a hold on them in Destiny. Um, we also have quite a few books available in Sora, um, our ebook system, that if you would like an ebook to read right now, you can look for those as well. And before we go, I also want to show you that we have a couple of fiction books um, that deal with the Titanic. Because this is such a notable event in history, um, many authors have used it as a setting for a fictional story as well. This is called Dangerous Waters, an Adventure on the Titanic. And it's about a mystery that happens um, aboard the Titanic before it sinks. So completely fictional story, um, but because the Titanic is such a famous event in history, people have used it as a backdrop and a setting for their books. So if you prefer fiction, but you'd still like to read a little bit more about the Titanic, this one is called Dangerous Waters. And then I also have this um, book called Flashback for the Titanic Mission. This is by Dan Gutman, who's a great author. He writes really great action and adventure stories. And he has this series called Flashback 4, which is kind of similar to Magic Treehouse, where the different characters um, time travel to different events in history. Um, and so this particular event, the characters are traveling to the Titanic in order to take some photographs before, um, before the boat sinks and before the disaster happens. So... Even though it's a fictional story and obviously all about time travel, very fictional, they still use some real information about the Titanic itself. So again, if you prefer fiction, um, you might want to check this one out. Flashback for the Titanic mission. All right. So guys, once again, these books are available. You can come and visit us at school and pick up um, any books you would like this next week or so in, in the office. You just put a hold in Destiny. You can also email me and request them. Um, and you can pick them up during school hours in the office. Or if you want to wait till we come back, hopefully on the 14th, then um, you can also request books to be put on hold and we'll have them waiting for you when we see you back in person. Okay, so Destiny is what you do to put hold or you can email me. Um, additionally, you can check out Sora and we have a lot of ebooks available right now in Sora um, on the Titanic or any other topic that you would like to read. Okay, and I think Mrs. Wyman is going to show you um, the library website. But if you want to check that out, I also have a lot of ebooks featured on there, um, which are great to look at right now while we're all um, learning at home. So if you guys have questions or um, need any help, please reach out to me on email or you can also instant message me on Teams. Okay, thanks for letting me enjoy your class today.